Hey everyone, just wanted to give an update of my 2003 Honda Ruckus that was having starting issues. If you listened to my last video, when I went to go turn the key on, the lights would stay on for a second and then cut off, and if I tried to start it, all it would do was produce a clicking sound. Now I followed the advice in my comment section and checked the fuses and the relays. I even called around to the Honda dealership and asked them uh, if they had any ideas of what I should try. They recommended the same thing fuses and relays also loose wires connectors and fuel lines well i had done all that and i was grateful for the advice but something was just weird about it and it seemed like that since the fuel pump was making that odd sound that i should go to replace it i ordered a spare fuel pump off of amazon that was 16.99 got here pretty quick with free shipping did the install last night and that was the problem, the fuel pump. Now I'm not gonna do an install video. There are many other YouTubers that have already done this and they have excellent content. The YouTuber I followed was Mitch's Scooter Stuff. He has a video that's around five minutes long, is very thorough, and he makes it look so easy. I followed what he did with the exception of taking off the seat and the seat frame here. I was able to pull off all the plastic covers and pull it through this area. It was not that big of a deal. You might want to follow his advice and remove all this stuff if you're trying to get to things like the carburetor or the air box or you're doing some kind of upgrade or you know, modification to your scooter. So using the 10 millimeter socket, there are eight bolts to remove and you just slide it and bend it and bring it out the top. Now I have a sneaky suspicion that the fuel pump was replaced on this thing before because I noticed that there is a door cover right over the fuel pump here that mine does not have and mine was only held on by one bolt. So that leads me to believe that it's been done before. Not a big deal. It's a used scooter. It's a 2003 model. I'm sure things are going to happen to it. So I'll offer up my two cents of advice and please feel free to give me change. But these are the, some of the things I encountered. I'm thankful Caboose was here to help me out because I lifted this gas tank and it was full. Fuel just about spilled everywhere, but thankfully he was there to help me uh, clamp it off in time. Even when it's disconnected and lifted fully to the top, it's still gonna leak. I recommend doing this with half a tank or less. If your scooter or motorcycle is 10 years or older and you're going in and digging into these things, you might as well try to do some preventive maintenance. I needed to desperately on this one. And again, thank God Caboose was here. We had to change out all the fuel lines just for safety because one of them was cracked so bad that uh, it was just on the verge of breaking anyways. Another thing that I don't like to use is zip ties when it comes to fuel lines or anything that's not electrical. This one had uh, three or four zip ties on it so I tried to replace it with either a hose clamp or in this case down here on the fuel filter. I did use a zip tie for now but I'll be going to AutoZone to get a, an actual um, hose clamp for it. You don't have to do a complete tear down just to get the fuel pump out. Now, like I said, I didn't have to remove the seat bracket or any major parts to get to that fuel pump, and you won't either if that's all you're doing. But if you're gonna do any other kind of work, yeah, you might wanna take this off and maybe get it up on a stand or something like that. So in the end, when all is said and done, fuel pump pumping. Ruckus is a running. All right, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.